Welcome back, everyone, to Natalie's at Dawn. I remain your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we're going to be going on to another replay, possibly the last one for tonight. Going to be Atostic versus Doctor Doom on New Yamas. Atostic and Doctor Doom both going for the Spiderbot Factory on a map which, I mean, it makes sense. It's kind of hilly and rampy and cliffy, but it's a map I would have expected to see vehicles on. However, no, we're not. We're seeing spiders. Actually, it kind of makes sense. This map isn't great for vehicles just because a lot of these ramps aren't really vehicle pathable or barely vehicle pathable. And the ones that aren't, well, I mean, it gives a lot of safe expansions for spiders. So I can see why they're both going for spiders. Actually, I've seen some complaints about that. And yeah, it's just... Vehicles are kind of, like, it's, yeah, it's flat, kind of, but it's, you know, vehicles are pretty predictable. Despite the presence of roads, the roads are for walking on, not for driving on. But yeah, so spiders everywhere. It's probably going to be a pretty big flea match, now that I think about it. I hope you guys like fleas, because we're going to be seeing a lot of them, most likely. Or going to be seeing a lot of other stuff that is meant to counter fleas, but it looks like we're just going to see flea versus flea. Are we really just going to see flea versus flea? Is that just going to be this game? I know Doctor Doom is a very macro-oriented player, so I can see them going mass fleas. Tostic, on the other hand, mm, kind of up in the air, but it looks like they're going to be going heavily on the fleas, too. It looks like flea is the new glaive. You just mass fleas and hope for the best. I mean, until someone starts building lotuses, in which case, you can't. Surprisingly, no one's really built... Okay, Atosic's built a Lotus, so the main base is pretty well protected. But, well, not, not so much for Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom playing it super risky, in fact, because if they get spotted, if those fleas get to their main base, Doctor Doom's going to lose a lot of stuff because the fleas have no real problem getting through that. I don't know, nice little, nice little juke by Atosic. I'm not sure they're aware of where Doctor Doom's fleas were, but certainly acted like it. Still, though, that is going to be... Looks of a Doctor Doom and Atostic being basically even. But Atostic in a great position, actually. They could move forward. They're unfortunately going to be running into more fleas as they go. So Atostic, are they going to be going in? I, I know they're not really aware of where exactly Doctor Doom has set up their position. So they could be going in a bit more, well, a bit more aggressively over to the back side of the map. That would be good. But I kind of expect they're going to be trying to attack directly. And I'm really not sure. What does Atostic know? Like, oops. What does Atostic know? They know nothing. Okay. They have absolutely no idea what's going on. Doctor Doom, on the other hand, does have a bit of scouting going on outside of Atostic's base, and Atostic is aware of that. But at the same time, Atostic not really able to do much. Doctor Doom able to just move these fleas around to block any incoming fleas that Doctor Doom might have, uh, Atostic might have sent. So Doctor Doom able to protect their base, able to scout out Atostic's base, and ultimately able to actually do some of the harassment. I was kind of hoping Atostic would be able to pull off, considering Doctor Doom had no, and still has no lotuses, but nope, not happening. Atostic actually losing out a metal extractor despite all the lotuses they had built. They didn't have one up front to stop any further fleas from coming in. So Atostic right now doing having a surprisingly difficult time, while Doctor Doom doing surprisingly well without having any lotuses. Or one lotus now, finally building up a lotus three minutes into the game, but that's not what you'd normally do against spiders. Doctor Doom, however, very confident in their abilities to just put their fleas wherever they need them to block Atostic's fleas. And yeah, it looks like we are going to be seeing fleas versus fleas all game. No venoms, no redbacks, just fleas. All day. Which I guess in a map this big kind of makes sense, considering that fleas can get around pretty quickly. And actually, nice, very nice surround coming here from Atostic, able to just wipe out of Doctor Doom's forces pretty much just by positioning alone. So Atostic... What are they going to do with that, though? I don't really see them having many opportunities. They might take them. I mean, they do have a few opportunities. They can get they can get over to this Weaver, get rid of the Weaver, get rid of some of the Metal Extractors. I just don't know if that's going to happen. It's clear that Atostic is trying to figure out where the heck Doctor Doom is set up, and they will actually be able to find that Metal Extractor, possibly find the Weaver as well. So at the very least, that will go down, or not, because I really don't understand what... What is Atostic doing? Okay, there we go. Getting rid of the Metal Extractor and fight moving to the Metal Extractor. Thank you! Getting out of the death explosion range. That's the key thing. Get out of the death explosion range. Make sure that doesn't happen. Unfortunately, not continuing on to try to get rid of the Weaver here. And that Weaver is going to be able to protect the itself. Nothing further. It's not going to be able to protect the Metal Extractor here. But yeah, Tostic, unfortunately, they don't really have much knowledge of what's going on. Because, I mean, they wouldn't. They don't have radar. But they could send in a few fleas here and there. They had been doing that too. Like, just spreading fleas around everywhere to try to find something. But at this point, it looks like that's not really going to happen. Still, though, Atostic pushing forward once again. Another wave of fleas. 
Some of them will find Doctor Doom's hidden fleas, but not really caring. The problem is, while this is enough fleas to get rid of a Lotus, I'm not really sure if that's the wisest option at this point. There isn't a whole lot of vulnerable spots that Doctor Doom has. As much as earlier in the game Doctor Doom had no Lotuses and no real defenses, at this point, it's fine. And actually, Doctor Doom switching over to Redbacks, while at the same time, we have a Toxic switching over to Air. Still going full-on fleas, just adding in some air, probably for Napalm Bombers, I'd imagine. A few Phoenixes would likely get rid of everything up here, although maybe go for Ravens instead, just to get rid of the Redbacks, or get rid of a few key targets here and there, a few Metal Extractors, a few Lotuses. Breaking a Lotus or two from from Ravens would be able to allow everything else to come in, all the fleas to get in there and wipe everything out on the ground. So there is that option. Of course, I would imagine they'd be more likely to go for the red backs. Just the way that Atosic's been playing thus far, it seems like Atosic's more focused on getting rid of Doctor Doom's army than they are on getting rid of Doctor Doom's economy. Not an approach I necessarily agree with. I can understand why it is tempting. You want to stop them from building up their army, but at the same time, if you stop them from getting money, they don't get to build their army. So, that's an option. Also, a toss to getting rid of Doctor Doom's radar. There's, I mean, spider bot factor. It's not going to be that big of a blow, but still, it doesn't mean that this area up here is basically undefended. And a toss to finally managing to get to these back expansions. Won't last long, though. There is a locust here that should be able to stop the flea, but it's not going to happen in time. Flea getting a free max kill. That's kind of surprising, actually. I did not ex that, Really? That, okay, sure. Same time, Flea's coming here to try to get rid of the Redbacks and succeeding, I guess. Okay, that's enough Fleas. That was that was about 30 Fleas down to about 7, so the Redbacks definitely did a good job, but enough Fleas and it just works. Lotus going down as well, not really be able to kill anything, as will the Weaver. Is that the explosion might... No, nah, it's not going to kill all the Fleas. Deal some damage, not kill the fleas. Actually, that frontal weaver, that was the only expanding force up in the front for Dr. Doom. So at this point, Dr. Doom's kind of... They're kind of screwed. Most of the weavers... Yeah, as you can see, all the weavers here. They're all inside of a Tossic base. Tossic has plenty of workers. Dr. Doom had has one. At the same time, though, they do have this massive force of locusts here and not a whole lot of anti-air. Mind you, there will likely be some Swiss coming up with the locusts coming, or even just ravens. But we are seeing Phoenixes. That was the choice. Using them to bomb out the Fleas, I suppose. But it looks like Dr. Doom doesn't really want to go for Fleas anymore. Switched over from Fleas to Locust. From one pest to another. That might, however, work. Though the Fleas, I don't even think, can actually hit the air. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, the range is 155 compared to the Locusts, which I think have 200 or something. 270. Yeah, the Locusts could actually outrange the Fleas. And I think they fly high enough that they don't get hit by the Fleas. We'll find out, because I've never really seen someone go Locust against Flea. That is not something that really has ever come up, but okay, I guess that's going to be a thing. Because Fleas are a thing these days. That's just how you play spiders. And at the same time, we do have something coming here from Atostic. Ah, Venom Redback. The old standby potential Flea counter, though honestly I'm not sure that's going to work anymore because of how many Fleas Atostic has. I really, like, 22 Fleas right down here, another, what... 16 fleas over to the west side of the map. Has spotted up the locusts, but it may not matter. The locusts coming in here, wiping out a lot of Atosic's force over to the north. Just expansions over to the north being destroyed. Nothing too precious yet. We should be seeing some tarantulas coming. No, swifts coming in here. There we go, not tarantulas. Why would you go for tarantulas when you have planes? Going for the swifts instead. And nice find on the weaver, but unfortunately that weaver is not really in the way. The locusts should be able to move back, but by the time they do, there will be two or three Swifts coming in here. Should be able to get, help get rid of the Locusts. However, the sheer number of Locusts has caught Atostic flat-footed. Like, there also aren't really any Razors that are being built up. There are some Swifts, but honestly, I'm not sure that's going to matter. Oh, never mind. Fleas do actually hit Locusts. My bad. Fleas do, in fact, hit Locusts, but it may not matter if the Locusts just avoid the Fleas and wipe out everything else. This looks like it will be a bunch of the Locusts, but the question is how much damage can be dealt in the meantime. Can they get rid of the caretakers? Can they get rid of the weavers? And, well, they got rid of one caretaker and maybe one weaver. I'm a little surprised that the fleas can actually hit them, though. I mean, they can. That's the thing that happens. And at the very least, Dr. Doom did manage to deal quite a bit of damage to Atostic, but the fleas were still too much. How do fleas hit locusts? 
I didn't realize locusts fought, flew that low to the ground that fleas could actually take them out. I mean, at the very least, it opens it up for Doctor Doom, but Doctor Doom was not expanding in the meantime. For some reason, their commander was right up front, and they were not setting up new metal extractors while they were doing that. Not really sure what the idea was there. At the same time, the commander taking some fire, but not much. At the same time, though, Doctor Doom has switched over to heavier spider units, which I'm not entirely sure are going to work well against fleas, but hey, the Venom at least does provide a bit of splash damage MP, so that will be able to stand up the fleas line, the red backs to deal more damage. As a nice force multiplier. On top of the tarantula helping get rid of the phoenix there, and pretty much anything else that might come forward to try to kill this giant ball of or this tiny ball of spiders. This tiny but expanding ball of spiders. Wow, three tarantulas. One shot's a phoenix. Good to know. Actually, I never really experimented with that, but yeah, that's that makes sense. I mean, they're what? 260 damage a shot? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So Doctor Doom still fairly strong economically, but Atostic has been able to rebuild no problem. More importantly, able to get their overdrive up and reclaim up. I mean, they they killed quite a few locusts. They can reclaim that. How much reclaim is even available? No, oh, 350. So 600,000. 1,200. 1,200 metal reclaim available. So yeah, Tostic's fine economically for a while. While at the same time able to raid out. This is the one thing about using this heavy ball of spiders is that there's not really much way that Dr. Doom has to defend against a massive number of fleas. The locusts, the lotus are doing a decent job, but they can only do so much. They really don't have as many options because, I mean, it's... It is still a static structure. Enough fleas coming in here on all sides. Well, not just a static structure. It just has a turret that rotates. Enough fleas on one side will kill it. Like, it's... I should say it's static structure. So... Atostic knows how many fleas they have to put in here in order to kill off the locus. Lotus. Unfortunately, not fight moving, so the fleas are going to get wasted slightly. That actually will mean this lotus here will be able to stop the remaining fleas. Now, at the same time, Dr. Doom is setting up for what looks like will be their final attack going in over the south side of the map, kind of taking the path of most resistance over the south side, because that's a lot of lotus there. And I'm sure Dr. Doom is aware of that. Like, yeah, they're fully aware that there are lotuses on that south side of the map. But, hey, bring enough recklesses to the party. They should be able to take care of the lotuses without too many issues, and tarantulas will be able to stop at least... Oh, one of them. One of these phoenixes will die. The remaining phoenixes will actually be able to get through and will be a bit of a problem. And by a bit, I mean a lot of a problem. That is... That is a burning spider force. That is not happy. I think the tarantulas might have survived. The tarantulas are fine. Nothing else is fine, though. One of the tarantulas will go down to the commander and the lotus here. Ew, that is two tarantulas left. That is going to be too few to stop any phoenixes from coming in and actually stopping the army. At the same time, though, one of the phoenixes did already go down. And it's not like this army is entirely weak, but I would like to see more tarantulas join up with the ball, because at this point, the phoenixes are going to be the death of the spider army. At the same time, fleas are going back for a toss to try to get back in and help out, but it looks like they're actually... Never mind, all the phoenixes were killed. My bad. All the phoenixes died, and the gunship plant is the replacement option for a Tostic. Not going for the phoenixes. I guess not realizing the tarantulas are dead and the phoenixes could actually do their job now. But, yeah, that's that's fine, I guess, for, for Doctor Doom. They can just push in with this. They don't have to care. And it's also caused a bit of appeal here. Doctor Doom could re-expand over to the south side of the map if they had the APM for it, apparently, because they're not going and doing that. But, yeah, if they wanted to... They could expand back to the south side of the map. There's nothing threatening it. So, yeah, take that on as this, as this ball is attacking. Doesn't really have to worry about fighting anything right now. But it looks like that's not the option. Instead, going for more lotus, locusts, but... Yeah, a couple metal extractors here that could easily be taken. I'd love to see, just see these taken. Like, Doctor Doom... One thing I'm noticing this entire game, they don't really have a whole lot in the way of constructors. And by not a whole lot, I mean... Zero? Oh, never mind, they have a couple. They are finally getting them down to the south side of the map to help expand. But yeah, I'm a little surprised there. I mean, I guess I'm not that surprised. It is a little hard to actually remember to go back in micro forces like that. It's just, it's pretty important. When you, whenever you attack, it's a good idea to try to go back and see if you can expand. It's tough because there's a lot to pay attention to. But if you do, then it's extremely useful. It's like your opponent can't really deal with it because they're currently dealing with your force up front, and you're taking more territory in the process. 
So by the time they're done dealing with your force, you have much more of an economy to work with to build an even larger army the next time. Okay, why are these welders even here? Like, seriously, they're just hanging out. They're on break, apparently. They're, they're supervising the locusts, and locusts are supervising them. And, oh, how's this going to work, though? Fleas coming in here from Atostic. That is basically their entire force here. Fleas all on top of boys. Went for an AFBOT switch. Interesting choice. But mostly it's fleas. Like, almost a hundred fleas. And the way that the force here for Doctor Doom is clumped up, I don't see it working out well for Doctor Doom. This is... This is an endgame force. Like, two or three Venoms would actually even things out. And there are the Venoms! In fact, that is going to be pretty much it. I was about to say Doctor Doom is kind of screwed, but the Venoms get in position, and Doctor Doom stops trying to put all the units into one single point in the map and stop respecting Polly's exclusion principle, then, or the Pally exclusion principle, then they will actually be able to get rid of the fleas, because the Venoms will be able to splash out the fleas, and though even then I'm not entirely sure, because this is a large line of fleas. Not really much splash. Atosic's done a pretty good job making sure that they're as immune to splash as possible without also sacrificing their own DPS. Not to mention they're a bit of an ambush line. I mean, if Doctor Doom tries to advance, which they are, the fleas are going to be right there, and Doctor Doom, seriously, learn to line move. I hate trying. I hate having to say this, but learn to line move. Like it's so much, especially when you're fighting against fleas. Just learn to line move. Learn to love line move. That is the thing Zero K is built around. If nothing else, is the line move. But okay, that does work out. The fleas were. I mean, there's about to try to deal with splash damage, but it also meant they couldn't actually hit everything all at once, allowing for a break in the line. And that'll leave Atostic in a rather difficult position. I mean, the boys are doing are going to be fine. They will be all helping out quite a bit, getting rid of all these forces. But the recluses can can outrange boys? No, they can't really outrange boys. Certainly can't outspeed boys. They can outrange them, but not by much. Not enough to matter. But it may be fine, however. At the same time, Atostic going in for some revenge raiding with these with these fleas. Still a dozen fleas over to the north, but they're going to be having a hard time against the lotuses. As in, not going to be able to actually kill the lotus in time, not with the red back support over in the eastern side, or over in the center of the map. Same time, Dodge Doom able to take care of a lot of stuff and getting the locusts over in the main base, while at the same time, the forces going in the north, wiping out a bunch of the side side projects of Atostic. A lot of the expansions are going down as well, and Atostic, they have forces to help deal with this in the main base, but the Locusts are going to be stopping a lot of the reinforcements, allowing for the Spider Force for Dr. Doom to actually get rid of basically everything without any real resistance, as all the resistance is tied up dealing with the Locusts. Same time, spotting that Scalp Drop before he's able to do anything, Atostic not going for the Scalp Drop, not even dropping the Scalps to try to help have them help out against the Locusts, which would be a really good idea. Scalps as right units do a great job against Locusts, but unfortunately they are stuck in these transports, not being dropped off. I kind of wish Atostic would actually drop them off, but hey, as these Karns die, at least Scalps do help out the defenses. But I think it's still going to be at the Ampbot factory goes down. The Spiders coming in from Doctor Doom still able to run into Atostic Force, because again, no reinforcements were able to help stop this force. And at the same time, there was a scallop drop, actually, at the same time, over in Dr. Doom's base, but it didn't last long. Or, was it even a scallop drop? Yes, it was a scallop drop. But it didn't really do the trick, so Lotus didn't care of it, and ultimately not able to actually get in from there. While well, at the same time, Dr. Doom's just able to wipe out all the Tossic's base. I mean, this match is basically over. The Redbacks are ensuring that. Fleas trying to come in to help out, but unfortunately, fleas do get countered by redbacks. You can get the numbers to make that turn around, but not when they're inside of your base. Not right now. It is way too late. Doctor Doom should be able to take this match, and indeed they do. Atostic throws in the towel. Doctor Doom, after quite a bit of back and forth, is able to show that mass flea is not the only way to play spiders. I mean, mass flea once you switch over to airplanes and gunships and amphibots and throw in a few locust swarms. But yeah, Mass Fleet is not able to win. That won't do the trick. So yeah, that is... That is New Yamas. That's New Yamas and Mass Spiders. It's a pretty map. It's a neat little map. It's kind of a confusing map. I'm not really sure how best you'd play it. I could see where the spiders come in, though. I could see Cloakie working as well. Like, the thing with vehicles is that I have to go up these ramps here, and a lot of the ramps... Like, these steeper ramps are not vehicle-pathable. They are bot-pathable. But 
Bots aren't vehicles. So for vehicles to get around, there isn't a whole lot of... There isn't, isn't a whole lot of room for them to go in an unpredictable fashion. So it's very easy to defend against them. Whereas for for bots, they can just kind of run around wherever they like. And spider bots do that really well. Especially can, since fleas are kind of a pain. Like, I would recommend maybe another bot factory, but then the fleas would get them. So, spiders are the way to go. It's just you don't necessarily have to go mass flea. At least not in the mid-game. Kind of funny, because spiders have historically been my favorite factory in this game, and now I'm starting to regret that. Because I don't know if I'm a big fan of flea spam. In fact, I'm fairly certain I'm not a big fan of flea spam. But... They'll probably be adjusted slightly. I don't, they, don't need, they don't need much in the way of adjustment. I mean, they have counters. It's just... I think the one adjustment that might really make a difference is some adjustments to how quickly they decloak or how long they have to wait before decloaking before firing. That might be enough to do the trick. But yeah, that is... That is that. So I think I'm going to... Oh, is that thing? Hmm. I kind of want to do one on Into Battle, because Into Battle was also added, and that's an older map. But I couldn't really find any good ones on that. Oh, hey, there's one on Thornford. That, that's a good one. Oh, wait, that's a time frame. Ah, well, I don't know. I'm going to... Oh, here we go. All right. So next one's going to be Kingstead and Doctor Doom on Thornford. I'm not going to do Into Battle because that one's older, but Thornford we haven't really seen much of either outside of the tournament. So yeah, we'll have that in a couple minutes.